Hey everybody, what is up? I am A Smith and welcome to A Poker Smith with some numbers. You know the drill. Drink coffee, stay awake, stay alive. Most importantly, like and subscribe my video. Um, I have learned from last week to put my coffee into a flask because it got nice and cold at the end of the last episode. So today we are here to check out what is going on with the Temporal Forces set. So I have a booster box here waiting to rip open. So far from what I know, the double banger, triple banger packs, they're all gone unless you get an A spec card along with another pull. So we're going to see if the what the pull rates are like. Uh, are they any good? So what I've seen so far is a bit of a mixed bag, sort of 50-50, some good pulls, some bad pulls. Uh, you know, the rates are sort of up and down, so I'm interested to see with my own booster box. First ever booster box opening on this channel as well, actually, so that is another pretty cool thing going on. First booster box, Temple Forces, new set. I like a lot of the art. The prices so far have they've sort of leveled. Um, there's no massively expensive card going on in the set. So hopefully we can get some good pulls. All right, so here we are with the Temporal Forces booster box. So we'll let is, we can just see what we're gonna get. So, um, I think I've got two, well, two or three favorite cards. I have the, uh, I like the Iron Crown, which a little bit annoying because before I saw the set release, uh, that was my favorite. And then obviously it turned into the most expensive card. Uh, the Aspex Master Ball card, I think is a really cool uh, looking card. It's got a great, great design. And yeah, uh, Bianca's Devotion is a good card. Let's have a little scroll through some of the other ones. The, I think the, yeah, the Prime Catcher is the most expensive A spec at the moment. Uh, then you've got the Gengar Full Art EX. Three gold cards are up there as well. Iron Leaves, Raging Bolt, wake, Walking Wake. Yeah, so there's a lot of, um, sort of, um, Decent value cards, like I said before, decent value, but no, no high, high value card, which is, that is what it is, I guess, but, so the Iron Crown, it's the one I am after, I would be very surprised if I got it, this is the, actually the first, um, product I am opening up from Temple of Forces. My very first booster box, which is quite exciting. Yeah, pop his little head up there. And there we go, that's how it looks. Opened up. There we go. 36 packs. Ready to rip. Quite excited. Uh, I'm not going to mix them up. I'll just pop that over here out of the way. Get my, all my sleeves and everything ready. And here we go. Yeah, so let me know what your chase card is. What are you after? What's your favorite? Like I said, I really like the Master Ball card. Um, yeah, so we'll see what is going on with Temporal Forces. As I said before, the double banger pack seemed to have gone apart from getting an A spec card, which is a shame. It's it's nice to um as your co card. It's a bit of a shame knowing that there's not going to be two two pulls per pack. You, I know I think it's a slightly smaller set than recent. But, yeah, I always like the uh, possibility of drawing two cards in one pack. You, real feel, you really feel like you've, uh, you've won something there. You've got a good card, good, good little pack. 
coffee in the flask as i said before learn my lesson from last week it was very cold at the end of that video so here we go enough rambling so we've got c dots totodile i'm really glad totodile evolution line is in this set i'm just i don't think for alligator is an ex i think it's just a hollow but it's a hollow to get dealing yeah the dealing and source book double card is is a, a, another really cool beautiful design card you put the two together explorer's guidance latias reverse ponyta reverse Bramblegas. and a size or ex so not a bad start and that's another thing i've noticed actually in this set you get a lot of a lot of ex's which that's not a bad thing so first pull first pack i do like the size or cards they're always pretty pretty nifty okay second pack left side Let's see can keep this going Co card, boom! All well, those co cards should be working now. I saw a lot of videos this time round were um, sort of pre-release uh, videos coming out, so you can use those code cards now. Versus Salvatore and Monty's conviction. Yes, what a card! This is one of the one of the top cards. Look at the little Gengar there. Oh, this is a great card. Get a closer look at that. That is... That is a... That is a good card. Centering's pretty good. A little bit more to the left. Booms the card at the back. Like I was saying, there's no double bangers, so... I should pull a card. A little bit of dust on top. Great, 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 great. Two out of two pulls. So we're doing well so far. I mean, that's if you count EXs. I'll count the EXs because EXs are good cards. Especially if you're a player. You can get some good use out of some of those EXs. Leave them up. There we go. Awesome. So yeah, if you're if you're limiting your pulls to one pull per pack, I'd imagine as the Pokemon company, you're gonna have to just up those pulls. Like otherwise it's people are gonna get a bit frustrated with Yeah, with trying to um complete the set mind you when don't we get frustrated at pulling trying to complete sets all you have to do is look at the uh, thousand shiny po baby pokemon that were in a uh, powder and fades but yeah if you get if you get a uh, consistent pulls like this and treads Buddy buddy puffin. So I've heard again, this is another card that uh, players are going to want to get a hold of. Uh, Vika Bolt reverse. Inchino reverse. And Barograph. I hope I said that right. EX. I mean, so far we're three for three. Uh, some people might say, oh, it's only an EX, but EXs are cool. Get in the sleeve. I mean, if I can <laughs> 36 balls in 36 packs from this booster box, you won't hear me complaining. Here we go. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. So how are you having a, a good time with the Temporal Forces? Have you got your chase cards yet? Are you going to try and complete the set? Let me know what you're thinking. Rapida. Bolton. Turricat Reverse. Hand. 
Trimmer Reverse and Mal Metal. So the first pack without anything great inside. Not bad out of four packs, is it, I suppose? Sorry, echo card. Boom. Hoot hoot. Meldon. Sigma. Roly Coley. Lycanroc. Future Booster Energy Capsule. Dalcati. Malmetal Reverse. Iron Jugulus Reverse. And we have a full art Torterra EX. So far, we're having a good time. Not a bad pull at all. Not bad at all. There we go. Yeah, we're having a having a good time on uh, Temporal Forces. Like I said, first product I am opening up. First booster box ever I have ever done. First booster box on this channel. And it's going well. Oh, let's see. Skitty, Electabuzz, Bramblin, Mudsdale, Explorer's Guidance again, uh, Reverse Drillbo, Sandy Shots, and we have a Flutamain, Flutamain, Hollow. Ancient card. Keep on going. Let's see what we can get from this pack. That's my old Yamper. Yeah, Pokemon Center giving out free Yamper plush dolls at the moment with their orders. Oh, there we go. Mist Energy and Reverse Mist Energy. And to the Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. And a Bramblegast again. Got two in a row. Two in a row without a pull. Starting to feel hard done by. Nah, not really. I've seen some videos where people have gone five, six packs without getting a pull. I think that's what's frustrating people a bit with this um with this set that without the without the double chance you you could just open so many packs and not get anything for it. Just which, which is a shame. Beautify, Drillbur, Precious Jungle, Unpheasant, Eerie. Oh that's another top card that's up there. Mudbury. Obviously not not that version but and a ex incineroar nice nice another ex like i said before it seems to be the trend i've seen most with this set is that you're constantly pulling exes i don't I, i've not looked into is, is there more exes in this set than other sets is that maybe why they've done it but i think just because you get rid of the uh you get rid of the double banger packs and then you're you're gonna fill them up with the X's instead. Just fine. It's about time we got a A spec card, I think though. Done this before. Speak it into existence like I did with uh, a Lugia in one video. Right, choo. Teeny, Sandy Shots. Bam. From the uh from the anime oh yeah what's everyone thinking of the anime actually i did a review on that uh two weeks ago and yeah get leave a comment about what you're thinking of it um i think it was it 12 episodes in america at the moment but last time i checked uk we had 20 i know japan have like a hell of a lot more i am valiant okay yeah so the um the anime 
what you thinking i'm enjoying it i think it's really good um it feels it feels more um like there's more detail to it there's more of a story there's an ongoing ongoing story and you, you delve into the uh characters sort of backstories and yeah it's just it it, it feels less of a, a children's show and more of a um yeah more of an anime you know an anime series Bikini. Another peasant and a Coridon Hollow. So we've gone a couple without pulling anything now. Let's see if our luck can change. Like I said, still waiting for that ace expert card. I think there's seven, seven ace for cards. Give me the master ball, please. I asked nicely. Done. One that I'll have. And the Dun Spars. It's a funny name, the Dun Spars. The Dun. But yeah, I think um, I missed I missed a week uploading videos. Um, I think two weeks ago is when I did the review of the anime series and I opened up uh, Pokeball Tin after that and yeah so uh, I had a break for a week I was I was just pretty busy with work projects and stuff and then on the weekend I I went down to London and I went to watch Fightstar at the OVO Arena which uh, if anyone doesn't know Fightstar, it's Charlie from Busted. It's his his heavy band. They they were doing like a literally like a one show reunion thing. I'd like to think that they end up doing a tour off the back of it because they sold out the Obi Arena. I think that's twelve and a half thousand capacity, and it was a really it was a really good gig. Uh, uh, the support was were low from Liverpool. They were they were pretty cool. Really good stage presence. And then um, uh, Twin Atlantic were the the second band. I mean, oh, what have we got here? We got something. Ah, the Mincino. That's a pretty funky little card. Little Mincino. Roaring Moon to finish that off. Yeah, so Twin Atlantic were the were the second band, uh, not my kind of vibe. Uh, but then Fightstar came on, and Fightstar absolutely smashed the performance. Yeah, if you're interested in checking out Fightstar, I mean I'm not sponsored or anything by them. It's <laughs> just a really cool band get an idea of the type of music I listen to. I mean, I listen to a range of stuff, but I like all the heavy stuff. Toad of Dial again. Hey, buddy. Iron Hands, Rescue Board, Sandy Shots, Great Task, Heavy Baron, and a Corridon EX. Another one. Is that the second one we've got today? Let's uh, just check what we've got so far. Uh, no, no. It must have been uh, Cried on Hollow. Cool. So, I, uh, about talking about completing sets and stuff, I don't think I'm going to complete uh, Temporal Forces. I really like it, and there's, uh, there's several cards that I want to pull, but I might just get hold of them for my collection. Uh, they're just those type of cards. They just, they just look really nice. Still chasing that uh, 
That shiny Pikachu from Paldean Fates. Got the Charmander. Just need his little friend to join him. Parfin. Harry. Reverse Dalcati. Reverse Scyther. And Macargo. Yeah, I don't know why, but Scyther as a kid was one of my favourite Pokemon. Just thought he was really really cool Pokemon as a kid. Just like, oh, he's got swords for hands. Alright. Well, we still haven't got an Aspex card yet. That surprised me. I've seen a lot of videos where they've done a booster box or an ETB and they pulled two or three Aspex cards, so... Be surprised if I go through this whole box without an A Specs card and another Maridon. Uh, interesting box so far. Pulls of slow down. We are one pack away. We got this two packs away from the half box stage. And then we'll have a look at what we've got so far. See how we're doing. Down, down here. All right. Better time. Hoot hoot. Now then. Full metal lab. Roller. Demon. Giraffe rig. Coco. Mal metal again. Got a few Mal metals in this set. In this box, should I say? All right, so this is the last pack of the first half. I'm hoping we get something big in here. Come on, give us one of the big... One of the big sets. Big sets, sorry. Big. Big pulls, big pulls. Nuzleaf. Minchino. Rockruff. Colossal. Box Order. Screamtail. Reverse Tranquil. Reverse Arbok and another hollow card. All right, so whilst I get a drink of coffee, let's put our pull so far down here. Cheers. Same as last week. Caramel, oat milk, latte with some beautiful German coffee beans. My mother-in-law got me. So, thank you very much, Kath. Shouts out, Kath. Going all the way to Germany just to get me a bag of beans. No, that's not true. She was there visiting. Oh, it is good. And it's warm this week. And I was a fool. And had a cold, cold coffee by the end of the week. End of the week, end of the uh, video. So we've got all our EXs here, just laying them down. Regular EXs, Full Art EX, Minchino, and Morty's Conviction. The best pull so far. Let's take a look at uh, his value. So, yeah, uh, 40, kind of $47. Convert that to pounds. Interesting thing about Pokemon in the UK that you. you, you check out price charts and you see it in dollars conversion doesn't really take effect a lot of our cards here will sell for pretty much the same in from what I've seen you know correct me if I'm wrong that's fine I'm, I'm happy to be wrong but a lot of cards sell for a similar price per dollar it doesn't really take into the exchange rate which is Nonetheless, so I really want the Iron Crown. I like the Iron Leaves. Master Ball, come on, give me the Master Ball. Uh, Aries up there, thirty-one dollars. Prime Catcher, the most expensive, most expensive uh, Aspex card. Gengar, I love Gengar. 
any gold card there's like there's a lot of cards the ghastly card is a really cool card to get it's got great artwork but yeah there's there's like i said the there's no real expensive card but the 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 value seems sort of like spread out between quite a lot of the cards so let's keep going i'll stop waffling we're on to the second half of the booster box let's go boom litten shroomish sorry sort myself out lick it on charge bag stable i feel like already we're seeing cards that we haven't seen yet i am valiant i like i am valiant i think it gets a bit of a rough go Totodile Reverse, Pedo Reverse, and Whimsicott, Hollow. So not a great start on this second half, but there's more to come. I know there is. That Iron Crown is on its way. Don't you worry about that. I, mean, I can hope. I can dream. So, here we go. Roller Coley. Heat more. Yamper. Code Breaker. Vika Vault. Oh, there's an Aspex card there. Great task. Oh, which one is it? You know, I'm after the Master Ball. The Prime Catcher is also a good card. And we got Hero's Cape. All right, let's take a closer look at that. So, the Pokemon this card is attached to gets 100 plus HP. Uh, that is a pretty good game card and i love i love the designs of these all of these ace cards the you've got texture on them as well that is just so we know we we there is a possibility of a double banger when you get an ace Bex. will i be one of those lucky ones reverse electabuzz and a Blood of Main. No, I'm not one of those lucky ones. I am not. What a shame. But that's our first Aspex card. Really, really nice Aspex card. I think they're all really nice. There we go. So let's check the value of the the Hero's Cape. I don't think it's one of the big ones because you've got Maximum Belt, Master Ball, Hero's Cape. Yeah, it's coming up. About eight dollars. Slugma, Solasis, Skitty, Lactobus, Ribombi, and Tremor, Rabska, Shroomish, Ligadong, and we have a Walking Wake EX. Nice. Another nice card. And there's your energy. Walking Wake. I think gou gouging. I can't remember. Is the most expensive EX from what I remember. Walking Wake. Back on the EXs. So, I know when people open a lot of uh, packs, like like booster boxes, they'll skip forward to you know sneak and peek, sort of skip to the last three cards, see what you get. But uh, it's a new set, and I like to look at all the artwork, so you know, just get a gist of what this entire set is about. And I like to do that with all of them, so. Hence why my videos are probably a little bit longer than... See, look at that. That's a regular uncommon and the uh, lightning in the background. Really cool. So you'd miss things like that. The Dunsparce, Litten, and a Salvatore. Look at that. So another big pull. Salvatore full art. 
With this little cheeky wink. Is it Salvatore or Salvatore? I'm not sure. All right. Nice card. Another nice card. Quite happy with what we're getting so far. I'd like one of the uh, the big secret illustration rares. Special illustration rares. I don't know. What do you want to call them? Sorry. Having fun with my... um. My face cam. Doing what it does. And that is whatever it wants. So oh, card. So we just pulled the you know, this is this was running. We're okay, I don't need to cover that. Salvatore, Salvatore. However you wanna say it. It's his name. Maybe ask him. Rosalie Cutify. Iron Jugless. Ekans. Pikachu. Oh, look at Pikachu. And we have the Wogtroyo Full Art EX. Uh, I've seen this a lot. Wogtroyo. Still, that's uh, still a nice card. Look at this. It. It's silly as all hell, but you know. Wogtroyo. So we'll, we'll put him in a sleeve. He deserves that at least. Getting attacked by sleeves here. Again, another, another EX. All right, on that note, let me drink my coffee. Like I say, drink coffee, stay awake, stay alive. Like and subscribe. Come on, come on. Seriously though, like and subscribe, see more stuff, see more openings. I might do the uh, ETBs, I've got a few, got a few going on. ETBs. I've got a lot of stuff in at the moment. Let me know what you want me to open up next. We've got Croconaut. Licka licky. Licka licky. Metang. Carcolt. Screamtail. Terrora. Ah. Iron Valiant. Reverse Morty's Conviction. Reverse Cute Fly. And we have a Roaring Moon. Hollow there. Yeah. It always interests me with Pokemon that, um, so Roaring Moon in another set was like the chase card for everyone. And, and now you see it as a hollow. <laughs> it's just, it's just in interesting how that works. So I'm just uh, getting the packs here. See how many we got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Plenty of packs left. 12 more big pulls in their way, and I'm sure. I'm going to be sad when we come to the end of this this box. My first ever booster box, like I keep saying. Jobert, Ponyta, Gatot, Damon, Fortress, Ekevolt, Noctowl, Lycanroc. And I am Valiant again. Yeah, it's gonna be a, a momentous moment. Finishing off my first ever first ever booster box. seen yet. Monzo, Nightyena, Jarpedo, Metagross, Roserade, Raichu Reverse, having fun in the fields, living his best life. Chargerberg, yep. And a dance boss again. The dance boss. 
I, yeah, still waiting to pull a, a big, big card from this set. I've got obviously Morty's Conviction, Salvatore, Salvatore. A uh, heck of a lot of VXs. So, let's keep this going. Havana, Heckens again. Turtwig. Latias. Great test. Bronzong. Golette. And Metagross. There we go. That's a, that's a nice card. He's out in the snow. There's one in the background there. Very nice card. I love it. I love that. Metagross. 178 or 162. Yeah. Very nice card. And there's the for alligator I was talking about. In the, in the hollow. Like I said, I don't think... He is a, uh, he, she, it. I know Pokemon usually refer to them as it. I always think that's a bit strange. Not strange, but I suppose it, it saves a lot of hassle. Yeah, I don't think it, it has a EX. I'm going to put him in a sleeve because I do like Relegator. I'm from that sort of, that sort of era. Where back in the day, Frelligator was a beast. A beast. All right, come on. I always remember my best childhood friend, Paul. Uh, rest in peace, buddy. Uh, he had a... Uh, he had an, uh, an insane for alligator on his game. Wiping the floor with everyone around. Shouts out, Paul. Uh, Ghastly. Kalido Iron Jugglers. Delmais. Turtonator. Drifty. And a Iron Leaves EX. Nice. Uh, a little bit wonky that one, I think, but it's an EX. Iron leaves. Can we get the the special iron leaves? But again, like I said, these I'm I'm gonna count up the EXs after this, and then uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out how many EXs we got in this booster in this booster box. I mean, if, you, if you're in need of EXs, grab a booster box. Temporal Forces is loaded with them. Here we go. Poochiana. Oh, Poochiana. Oh, Wiglet. Arbok. Dot. Ancient Booster Capsule. Iron Treads. Buddy Buddy Puffin. Shnom. Eat more and a oh man, how many times? Pull that card a lot. I think it's about time we got another A Specs card. Let's speak that into existence. A Specs card, please. I got three chase cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven chances to get one of them. Iron Crown. The Master Ball A Specs card and uh, the um, Bianca card. I do like collecting the the character cards. So character cards for any set is. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why. I just like I just like getting all of all the character cards. I think they usually have a cool design and it's it's just a nice sort of artistic thing rather than a Pokemon character you got a human character get all those all those in Sableye, Nuzleaf, Gartony and Coridon Hollow
So I might go and open a Paldeum Fates again after this. I have an ETB I haven't opened. I opened one from the Pokemon Center when it first came out and I got this somewhere else. I don't know where. But uh, another chance to get a hold of that uh, little shiny Pikachu. Then I think I'll be done for that set. Speed of, Pine Gold, Zarora, Shafido, Metagross, Reverse Asmoreau, Reverse Croconaw, and another, another Whimsicott. Oh, we're running out of chances. I can't complain, we've got some good pulls. Just one more big pull would be nice. One more. Again, let me know how is everyone else doing? What have you pulled on your ETBs, on your booster boxes, on your single packs? What are you chasing? Just uh, get commenting away. Let me have a chat with you. I'm all alone here chatting to myself. I want to uh, want to speak to some of you guys watching, listening, doing what you do. Rather than just chatting to myself all the time. Yeah. Come on, here we go. The last four packs. Come on. We've gone a few now without pulling anything. Oh, I think that's another... Another pack where we probably won't pull anything. <laughs> just saw it there. Oh, wow. Well. Meditate. Durantor. Hoot hoot. Frozen Raid, Excadrill, Kalido, Pineco, Mr. Mime, and Drampa. <laughs> I have seen a couple videos where Drampa uh, is just pulled relentlessly. Um, but for me, that is the first one. Woo. So I might, um, I feel like I've gotten a lot of different cards in this set. So if I sort through it and see how much I've actually got, and see how much is actually left. Like I said, I've never opened a booster box before, so collecting full sets has been a bit of a, a bit more of a challenge. Whereas, you know, you do this, you get pretty much most of commons and commons, uh, a few of the reverses. Problem is, I'm short of a lot of A spec cards and a lot of the big hitters in this set. And I have a thousand Mel Metals that have just come up again. So are we saving the best for last? I have two packs left. That was last in the box. Two packs left of this booster box. Come on, give me something. Let's see, let's slow it down for these last two packs. Rock Ruff, Litten. Let's enjoy some of this art. Shroomish. Lick it down. Bianca's Devotion, that's what I need in the uh, the special. Explorer's Guidance. Disappeared. Reverse Golurk. And another Maridon. Oh no. Oh no. So I have one pack left. We've just been on a bad run of packs. Does it all come down to this one pack? One pack left. Either way, I've had a good time today. This is my day off. So hopefully I'm looking less like The Walking Dead and more like a real human. As I said, I work nights, so... A lot of coffee is drunk. To stay awake, to stay alive. All right. Bow room. Last pack. Roly coly. Come on. What's in here? Give me something. We have one chance unless it's an Apex. Chinchino. Reverse Turtwig. Reverse Metang. And last card is a Gengar EX. So that could have been worse. A Gengar EX is a, is a nice card. Uh, again, 
looking at it, it's another player card by the look of it. You need two energy cards for a 160 move. Uh, you may move an energy from your opponent's active Pokemon to one of their bench Pokemon. So it's a pretty useful card. So get in the sleeve, Gengar. All right. So what? Uh, also, yeah, what I didn't uh, mention about this set is all these cards seem to be printing really well. They feel good. They look good. I thought I'd just uh, let you in on that. Right. So, like I said, we were going to check the amount of EXs we got here. So we got the the Gengar Iron Leaves. Not the Thralligator, because he's just there uh, chilling. We've got the, the Wug Trio, which is full art. Walking Wake EX. The Sizor EX, one of the first ones there. We have the Torterra Full Art EX. Furry Giraffe EX. Uh, Incineroar EX. Coridon. So we, you know, um, let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine from 36. We've got the uh, Metagross, Full Art, uh, the Minchino Pokemon, Full Art, and we got the Kira's Cape. My one and only Apex card of this booster box, which is crazy. I've seen people pull four, five, six. So to get one, I'm a little bit disappointed. I really wanted that Mass Ball. I know it's not one of the expensive Ace cards, but I really like the look of the Mass Ball. And there is the Prime Catcher, the expensive one, which would have been cool. So we've got Salvatore, Salvatore, however you want to say it. I mean, I should find out how to pronounce his name. And I think the the best card for me today is Morty's Conviction. And we are hanging out with the Gengar. Having a coffee. Coffee. Yes, Morty. My guy. Coffee. Cheers. And it's still warm. Yes. Celebration. Victory sip. Nothing worse than my victory sip last week, where it was stone cold. Oh, hell yeah. Stone cold. Stone cold coffee. This is good. I'm going to keep doing that. So today they were my pulls. That was the Temporal Forces Booster Box. And I had a good time. I hope you did too. And again, once again, just thanks so much for watching. Get commenting. Like, subscribe, drink coffee. You know the rest. I won't say it again. And yeah, I hope you have a good time with uh, Temporal Forces. I think it's a, it's a really lovely set. There's a lot of good design. There's a lot of good playable cards if you play the game. I don't. I I think I'm going to learn soon. Just for fun. I'm not going to play competitively. Uh, I, I just don't have time. Um, but I, I'd love to just... First of all, find some friends. Second of all, find friends that like Pokemon. Third of all, play the game with them. Yeah, that'd be cool. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. Thanks. So much for watching like subscribe all that good stuff follow along um back to weekly videos like i said i have to take a break uh, just busy with work and all the rest of it so yeah 
Thanks.